history of life teaches us that every ecosystem, as well as every single organism, has a beginning when it first appears and an end when it's gone forever. Take the woods, for example. They haven't always existed as we see them today. There was a moment in the history of the planet when there were no fir woods like these, but forests were made up of completely different plants. But also other ecosystems familiar to us haven't always been like this. Even in the seas, there was a time when if you had put your head underwater, the story we want to tell you is about the exact moment when the world began to take on the appearance we know today, the origin of modern ecosystems. In the 1980s, Mike Sims and Alistair Raffle, two geologist students at the time, identify in the south of England the traces of what appeared to be an important phase of climate change that occurred about 233 million years ago, a time that geologists call the Carnian. But how do these traces look like? Like those you see here. These are the ancient seabeds of the Carnian that then turned into rock. Here you see a red layer that interrupts a long succession of grey rocks. These seabeds, the grey layer, were suddenly covered with a huge amount of muddy material, the red layer. The climate had changed completely and rainfall had increased. It was pouring rain. Inside these rocks, there are the fossil remains of the marine organisms that live at the time. Here, the type of fossil we find changed completely and most of the species are no longer there. They disappear. After Mike's and Alistair's discovery, similar clues have been found in other parts of the world, like here, in the Dolomites, in the Julian Alps and in Austria, in Hungary, Israel, Canada, Australia, China, and Japan. Scientists from various disciplines became interested in the Carnian and accumulated data, clues, and discoveries. Stratigraphers identified the evidence of profound environmental changes. Paleontologists accurately measure how many species disappeared. Geochemists read the dramatic perturbation of ecosystems in the carbon levels. Volcanologists discovered a phase of volcanic eruptions that occurred at that very moment. Statisticians used all this data to build integrative models. Thanks to the synthesis of all these clues, today we can say that during Carnian times a mass extinction occurred, most likely triggered by volcanic activity. But the Carnian extinction did not only mark the disappearance of species and ecosystems, but also a new beginning for other species and ecosystems, a great chance for life. For example, it started the great diversification of the celebrities of deep time, the dinosaurs. This is also the time when species and ecosystems that have survived through to today appear, such as modern coniferous forests. It is the time when the chemistry of the ocean changes forever and coral reefs, as we know them today, begin to spread. But the Carnian is also the time when new evolutionary lines of animals appear, such as the mammals. And we know them very well.
The Kanyan is the dawn of the world as we know it today.